Chapter Eight: Measurement. Measurement of length. Measuring length using non-standard units. Hi, Raju. What are you doing? Hi, Tina. I'm measuring the length of the table using hand span. It is six hand spans long. What are you doing? I'm measuring the length of the mat using foot span. It is eight foot spans long. Measuring length using standard units. A measuring unit which is widely used is called a standard unit. Centimeter, meter, and kilometer are the standard units of length, and one meter is equal to hundred centimeters. The short form of meter is m, and it is used to measure longer lengths. For example, length of a bus, car, table, trousers, etc. The short form of centimeter is cm, and It is used to measure small things. For example, length of a pencil, length of a book, length of a water bottle, etc. Remember, one centimeter is about the width of your index finger, and our arm span is about one meter long. Addition and subtraction of length. Just like other numbers, we can add and subtract meters and centimeters. For example, add forty-nine meters, thirty-two centimeters, and forty-three meters, thirty-six centimeters. Thus, forty-nine meters, thirty-two centimeters, plus forty-three meters, thirty-six centimeters is equal to ninety-two meters, sixty-eight centimeters. Now let's subtract forty-three meters thirty-six centimeters from forty-nine meters thirty-two centimeters. Thus, forty-nine meters thirty-two centimeters minus forty-three meters thirty-six centimeters is equal to five meters ninety-six centimeters. Measurement of weight, measuring weight using non-standard units. To find How heavy an object is, we must find its weight. We use a balance or weighing machine to weigh an object. To check weight, look at its pans. The pan which weighs more comes down. The pan which weighs less goes up. For example, the rice cooker is heavier. Than the bottle, the jug is lighter than the briefcase. Measuring weight using standard units. When we buy things like wheat, rice, sugar, vegetables, etc. from the market, the shopkeeper uses different blocks called weights. Look, there are some different weighing blocks. Hundred grams. Two hundred grams, five hundred grams, one kg. Kilogram and gram are the standard units of weight, and one kg is equal to one thousand gram. Addition and subtraction of weight. Just like other numbers, we can also add and subtract kilograms and grams. For example. Add twenty-four kilograms, one hundred thirty-six grams, and thirty-five kilograms, two hundred fifty-two grams. Thus, twenty-four kilograms, one hundred thirty-six grams, plus thirty-five kilograms, two hundred fifty-two grams, is equal to fifty-nine kilograms, three hundred eighty-eight grams. Now let's subtract ten kilograms, two hundred grams, from forty kilograms, five hundred grams. Thus, forty kilograms, five hundred grams, minus ten kilograms, two hundred grams, is equal to thirty kilograms, three hundred grams. Measurement of capacity. Measuring capacity using non-standard units.
we can find the capacity of a container by using another container. Look at the capacity of some given containers. The capacity of the kettle is 4 cups. The capacity of the jerry can is 2 buckets. The capacity of the pot is 3 kettles. Measuring capacity using standard units. We measure small quantities in millimeters. Large quantities are measured in liters. One liter is equal to 1000 milliliters. Half liter is equal to 500 ml. Addition and subtraction of capacity. For example, add 6 liters 250 milliliters and 8 liters 300 milliliters. Thus, 6 liters 250 milliliters plus 8 liters 300 milliliters is equal to 14 liters 550 milliliters. Now, let's subtract 15 liter 200 milliliter from 55 liters 620 milliliters. Thus, 55 liters 620 milliliters minus 15 liters 200 milliliters is equal to 40 liters 420 milliliters 